show of hands, who who here would date someone who's pro life? I mean, honestly, I probably. I mean, I don't. It's that's, that's a hard, that's a hard stop. Yeah, yeah. yeah like yeah. pro life. You, that's a hard you stop. wouldn't date a guy if that guy said, "I don't want to kill your child." No, I would date the guy. I think there's like, different thing is, than being pro life. Yeah, it's there's, just that that's very what's different. The I, I think the problem for me is you that want show, I own my huh? buddy. I'll give you a show. And like I am, I well, I own my buddy. What makes you say you own your buddy? Because I have my body and I take care of it. Well, you are part your body. You're yes. part of your body and you're part yourself, but you don't own that. You didn't. So you who owns so yeah, so let, let, let me just interrupt you. If you believe that God owns it, that it's your belief, but it's not mine. But my you can't mind. bring religion into it. You cannot bring religion into politics. Mine. No, there's only one universe, and it happens to be true in, in that universe. In my universe, it's not true. I have my own <laughs> set of beliefs. Well, and in your universe, you could pretend to be a bug with 17 arms. Wait, it doesn't make but it true. Michael, you can't bring religion into politics. Well, well you have to bring religion. No. Into I'm no, All politics I mean, religious. you can like take it into a factor, Why? but you cannot let it set politics. No, it has to. No, has because to. there's not? so many different religions. It's just like you can't cater to one. But Being you, Catholic, but you can't cater to just... Like Catholicism. Why not? Because well, let, you have let people me just in the United States who are not just Catholic. Let, let, me, let me just interrupt really quick and then yeah. I'll let you uh, respond. So um, just one thing. This is a hot button political issue. <laughs> Michael's conservative. I think you guys probably have a different stance on abortion. Mm-hmm. I'm happy to talk about it, but I want everyone to try to keep it. People have very strong opinions mm-hmm. on this, so I, let's hopefully just keep it... Uh, Respectful. Let's have a debate. Let's engage in a in a uh, hopefully a fruitful debate or not fruitful debate. But uh, let's just keep it polite. And I, I think um, Michael is probably prepared to make uh, pro life arguments that are not based in religion. Well, I think everything. Well, he was based just in making. Religion. He was just uh, making. I think ultimately <laughs> everything's based because if you're it, right now. <laughs> but what if I'm not religious? Can I, uh, well, that, can you know, I that's your you problem. Can can I, you know, it's not oh. my problem. It's my life. Oh, no, it's your, it is, but that's it's a problematic aspect. Of your Why life. it's can, a problematic I, aspect? I well, be, because <laughs> because certain things are true and certain things are false. So, like for instance, if I said right now, hey, is it better to uh, bake a pie for a widow or? kick a little baby in the head. Would you say one of those things is better than the other thing? You can compare them no, because I, you're taking things out of context. No, but I'm just asking, Is it, wait, would you, you look at that situation wait, and say, what you have two choices here. You can either bake a pie for old, the widow down the street, or you can kick that little baby in the head. Would you say one of those things is better or worse than the other one? Yeah, yes. probably. Yeah, so if you're going to make a claim that something is better or worse as a, as a moral question, then you are now taking recourse to religion because that's a religious view. So how is me making a claim about like having an abortion and pro-life? Obviously, I feel like if you're having an abortion, it's not a good thing. Like I don't think it's something that should be romanticized. I don't think it's like a good thing. I feel like it's sad that you even have to go out to that point, but it should be there for women why? if they if need it. If it's not it. a good thing, then why? No one needs it. Because there's other things that are not a good thing. Birth control is not a good thing I either. Agree. And yeah. we have it, but it, well, we it's shouldn't. needed. Well, I mean, having sex before marriage is not a good thing for society, but we have it, right, so you're gonna ban it. But you just shouldn't. Do Drugs it. are not a good thing, but we have it. It's right, good for you the economy. also shouldn't do that. You're making very but good arguments for things we should. I'm just saying, there's so many Wait, things. So yeah. I, I, I agree <laughs> with your, I agree with your viewpoint, and I know you're very passionate about your viewpoint. I'm very passionate. But about I'm, it, I, I think we're going a wrong way about the whole conversation, like <laughs> because you, you're saying that's just wrong, but yeah. we have to talk about how can we prevent that from happening in the first place. Like what happens to like a fourteen-year-old girl who gets mm-hmm. raped, for example? Oh, like yeah. how would we prevent it's that? Like I think we have to. How do talk you pre- how do you prevent rape? Well, how do we talk about people with like mental issues? Like we have to mm-hmm. talk about just bettering. Like, are you doing something to better? Yeah. That? Well, the way the way to prevent rape would be to, to get tougher on crime, mm-hmm. and it would be to uh, so circumscribe cr- certain sexual behaviors, right? And stop uh, I would say probably stop encouraging a hookup culture that mm-hmm. makes it a little bit easier so you can do all sorts of things like that but and then what do you do for a, for like a, a young woman who's already pregnant what do you do you well you know she, the crime has already happened so if you if she gets an abortion or she doesn't get an abortion that's not going to change like, the fact that she's raped for example you can maybe like create a foundation that will help Oh Some yeah, there are plenty to, of those. Like fund the baby. Yeah, right? crisis pregnancy like, centers are great, great do, organizations. Uh, but all are over. they uh, accessible to people? Yes, everywhere. Well, that's good. I mean, I don't, I don't know, know if it's, it's accessible to like, like. They totally are. Okay, Ask, you, tell you, me where you are. Get you an organization. So you gave me a look while I was over there. Is it what? 
What's up? I was just wondering what you're doing. Oh, <laughs> I, I had to go to the bathroom and I got an ice pack. Um, For what? Neck pain. Yeah. <laughs> I got old Getting man older. over here. I've got arthritis or something. <laughs> um, so you also looked at me, Kiko, and you wanted to... Why don't you and Michael have a little debate on this? Well, Kiko and I but, agree. Oh, I think I'm we what? agree <laughs> on pretty much everything. No. No? <laughs> no? What do we disagree on? I'm pro-choice through and through. I'll never change. Uh -huh. I will never waver. Yeah. Not a single thing. I could be seen, said to me, anything. I'm not changing my opinion. So we might as well not even debate on it because it doesn't seem like he's changing his opinion either. But I did change my opinion because I used to be. So you're, you're willing to change back your opinion? Well, I, I'm. Then in, you don't in sound 100% true no, in the, in to the, in the what you believe. Of, I am, so I know I'm not going to change. No, it. So I we just, can I, then if you want to debate. If you think you so in the face back. of in the face of compelling evidence, I could change okay. any opinion. One and thing. I, one yeah. thing, really quick. Me too. Usually, but then some things you're just set in stone on, and this is one of those. Is it maybe because you're afraid that you'll find compelling evidence that would convince you otherwise? So one thing really quick. I just quick. know it's dumb to debate are you guys that comfortable your opinion on. having this conversation? Yeah, yeah. go ahead. Yeah. You, oh, so you guys are fine? Okay. So beyond yeah. comfortable. Yeah. Oh, beyond comfortable. <laughs> yeah, let's have it. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so fun. Okay, because some people don't like talking about this sort of stuff, but it's so long as you guys are uh, fine having a little debate. I think, mm -hmm. I think and the, the, the great thing about debate is, is that you can kind of, it can help you reaffirm your position. Mm. or perhaps challenge your position. I mean, I'm always open to new things and I want to keep learning, but sure. I'm just saying I'm pretty, I agree with Kiko on being very strong on this one. Yeah. So then what, what if we have a debate for the fun of it? How's that sound? That's what I'm saying, yeah. fun. Okay. Ooh. Let's do it, fun. Go ahead. Why is this the one issue that you wouldn't change your mind on? Because I feel like the research is already done. We've already taken away the law, put it back. We've already seen the negatives and positives from it. So why are we repeating history we've already, we've already done this multiple times now what law when we banned abortion back in what was in 1960 Roy Wade? yeah roe v wade well roe v wade cre created a constitutional right to abortion yes so but that, before, that before, opened before. Up. yes yeah. but before then before and then, then abortion was illegal in, yeah. in most places. yeah yeah yes and then now we saw because the reason why that happened well there's honestly multiple reasons why some of it does stem in racism as well you mean you mean because most like most black babies in new york are aborted and not born that would be racist right no i mean because the, the issue was the reason why we're getting back here is because the most people having not the most people okay, the majority of the highest percentage of people having abortions are african-american women yeah. or minority women in general right, right. Yeah. the majority of black babies in new york city are being killed but the most dangerous place for a black person in new york city is in his mother's <coughs> womb that's but, very racist i agree I mean, is it and planned parenthood hey, targets no. the black can we not be calling them babies yeah they're what should i call them they're fetuses, fetuses. Do, you can't. do you know what the, the word fetus means yeah embryo well, embryo, is that an, an embryo is another term, but the word fetus is a Latin word that means okay. offspring. So it means baby. Isn't like the, um, I don't know, I think it's in Freakonomics that they wrote about the offspring fact that Roy Way decreased the crime rate in <laughs> New York. Yeah. Th this was an argument that was really compelling to me. I actually made this argument to a, a bioethicist uh, mm. who was, she was very pro. Bronte. <laughs> And it, Bronte. Not Bronte. I okay. wouldn't say she was the top oh, okay. bioethicist <laughs> yeah, I yeah. talked to. But I, I made this argument. I said, well, no, I'm really in favor of abortion because... Uh, the Freakonomics book told me that mm. it decreases the crime rate, you know, if you, if you mm -hmm. abort these babies. And she said, cool, Michael, which of those arguments is not also an argument for killing young black men in the inner cities, age 18 to 25? And the problem is... They have a, life. Well, the babies have life. Or they you don't. You call it fetus. But no, they, they have life. They, no. Well, no, they, no they, one, they have life experiences. They have no... How are you a life if you have no memories, you have no conscious? How are you a, a living, should, breathing should you thing if you able, have no conscious? Should you be able to kill somebody who's in a coma, who's unconscious? Honestly, yeah, if I was a vegetable, why are we having people on ventilators who are vegetables for years? No, Honestly, if, my true opinion, yes, they should be dead yeah, too. Yeah, I even agree if you with that. The fucking plug. Even if yeah. you could come out of the coma <laughs> at some point? Because people can be in a coma for years and then come out of the coma. But you yeah. think just kill them anyway? Okay, Honestly, so if you're going to be on a ventilator for six Are you vegan? Are you vegetarian? Do you really care that much about life? I'm talking about human life. So, so well, you, how are you going to be a foster parent? Because we have a higher conscious, we're better than these things. No, because what? because man is is the only rational <laughs> animal. So man, unlike uh, lower animals, we have a rational will. So, so I'm saying, yeah, because yeah, we're, we're more rational, intellect. we have a higher. So consciousness. That's yeah, what, what I just makes said. It the difference. No, but we, the the, <laughs> ra the rational soul is not merely the uh, it, 
expression. I just feel like you shouldn't call it pro life because I don't really think you're pro life. Maybe you're pro. Even broccoli like, screams when you pull it from the ground. <laughs> Carrots. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. No, I mean, the, the ultimately the image because you brought up religion. It, ultimately, the reason is because man is made in the image and likeness of God, right? That's why so, man once is once again, religion. it's religion for you. That's your main. But argument. Ev- everything ultimately is religious because that's the fun. <laughs> what if I'm not religious? Being. Yeah, I I'm that. well, ev- everybody's religious in some. No, way. no. Because every, every, well, you just admitted that you believe some things are better than other things. How so does that how have does to do with religion? religion? Well, so that's a that's a moral. That's a moral view. high ground. So yeah, where where does your do morality with... derive from? The universe. I don't, I don't need a religion to well, tell me what's good or bad. I just, the, it's common sense most of the time what's good or bad, not from common, God telling me. Yep. Where does that common sense come like from? Like you weren't just, you didn't, one, I feel like from the time <laughs> I was able to have any belief, I didn't need somebody to tell me it's wrong for me to kill somebody. I didn't need somebody to tell me it's wrong if I steal this from somebody. And but I was I, the only child I'm, too. So I didn't need to be taught that. That's yeah. just something that my brain was like it's like a common sense thing right that's called your moral conscience and because and you i didn't need god to do that it was just me well you're, you're being a human god gave you your moral conscience and created the moral that's what you think like, that's what you but, but furthermore you, you do have god. someone now telling you the di- a view of right and wrong that me. is different than the one that you me, have me, no 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 you, my, my, me, my no, brain no, no, no. <laughs> but you, my subconscious tells me but you also have me telling you but you also have me telling you and so you say but I don't so, listen to you I listen to me but you might be listening to me you're listening to me right now I'm listening to you speak but I wouldn't listen to anything you do and put it in action but, but, <laughs> but, <laughs> but you might you <laughs> might is the problem my ears what, work what, yes what but right now am you, I taking it in <laughs> you say you say abortion is, is fine and I yes. say abortion is bad yes how do you know which one of us is right how you do you don't, know that you're because right? Because humans know nothing, really. You no, don't I know think I know li- Well, things. I know, but really, lot, but I mean, really. I, don't, I think the argument where, where life begins is useless because I don't think on based on that, you're not going to change someone else's mm-hmm. mind because everybody has strong beliefs. I think well, it's you, that's a great point because yeah. it doesn't matter when life begins so much as mm-hmm. what life means. Yeah, well, so it means so many different things to people. So I just think it's useless to argue over that. I think it's <coughs> better to argue how we can, what we can do in this situation. Because we all agree when life begins. I mean, by, no, by definition, I, it's a conception. Oh, no, we so don't. So, hold on. Hold, 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 so we'll, we're we'll get, hold on just a sec. Abortion was such a silly issue. Women's issue is with nature slash God. Oh. The idea they can escape consequences and not control every element of sex is the issue. Ironically, hmm. women side with the eugenicists that created these schemes and hate them and want them gone. Dig Bic I mean, Energy. I, Thank you for the uh, 200 TTS. <laughs> yeah. Thank you there. Uh, interesting name you have there. Thank you, man. Um, I think go ahead, Kiko. You wanted to. Well, because I agree with a lot of what you're saying, but we said we're debating for fun, so that's the reason yeah. why I'm doing it, because I know whatever. You said, how do I know I'm right? Well, I mean, this is also objective, too, but like for me, like I know I'm right because like every state with the most educated people here like are still you know pro-choice. And like the states with like you know not that many educated people usually are the ones that are Pro life. I'm relatively so, educated, right? I'm not saying you're not. But and I'm and I'm Is pro-life. New York is New York pro choice? Is New York did, New, New York? Yeah. Is well, now I live in Tennessee. Yeah, so didn't okay. Tennessee. Oh. Which is very <laughs> pro-life. Oh, that makes sense. Do I have to speak? Yeah. <laughs> no, I just well, if you're saying educated I mean, I just feel like if you if you pro-life, grab somebody from Tennessee educated. versus if you grab people from California and you find the most Overall, I feel like the the majority, probably, yeah, the majority is going to probably be from California, and not from. I mean, Michael's Tennessee. boosting up the average, I think. By because <laughs> it's so small, right? No, he has one I, Yale. I, you throw one Yale in a Tennessee, you're. No, like, but I, I also I also don't have a ton of uh, <laughs> you know respect for people who have all these credentials. I mean, p- yeah. my fellow Yaleys believe all sorts of things that are insane. I mean, they don't know the difference between a man and a woman, so I'm not surprised that they can't tell what life is about. You know. But, also, I feel like I'm just going to set this from the straight, from the start. You and Brian don't really get a say in this because you not? can't have kids. Oh, no you uterus, no No, I have two kids. Wait. No, did you birth them? Did they come out of your vagina? No, no. <laughs> um, so but I did, I I did help to make them. And the other, even if I didn't have kids, the other reason I would have some say over this is because I have rational faculties and I can, I can uh, come to conclusions about things that don't involve me. For instance, if mm-hmm. I were an oncologist, I wouldn't necessarily need to have you, cancer to uh, to know something about you can have like you can you're, you can have a say but you're not going to have the final say it's not your it's not your choice it's not your body why would it not be I'm the head of my household well it's so you control mm. your I think wife's body. You t- you tell her when and what to do. Every move to make. You tell like not every move to what make. What she's but trying. I have, I've got quite a lot I, of say over it. Yeah. Can I say oh, what whatever, she's yeah. trying to say is that why do we restrict women and tell them what to do if we have to restrict the men because they're the ones who don't take the responsibility for what they have done. No, men have to you take just, responsibility. You don't too. know how many guys invited me over their house on the first date. It is disgusting to say every time and no, but it's it's happening and I have to like. 
I have to say no. But like we are not educating and saying to the man that they should behave properly. Why are we are shaming women for the fact that they want to have a choice of what to do with their bodies when the the guys and the man who they whose attraction they're trying to get, you know, like the women are having sex with the guys because it's the only way that the only thing they can mm. give guys like mm. right now be, maybe but, they but don't see it, a value. Doesn't that you're so right about that, but doesn't that tell you that those guys are just dirtbags and you should go to But there are guys. so many of them. So what should I do then? Get should find I find a better guy? Where? That, I, well, not, probably, do you know a I feel like that's I not the, know, like, the root problem names. of abortions. I feel like abortions are not good. They're bad, but I feel like they're needed in some scenarios. I don't mm. think like pro-choice means all girls should be having sex like and having abortion unprotected and just like yeah. that should be plan b is having an abortion but i feel like there are instances where like mm. you don't realize that you're pregnant or just something goes wrong i feel like it shouldn't be on like legal terms it like it's way more yeah. about the situation but you need a law either it's legal or it's illegal I, right? but, yeah decide. but if it's legal like that doesn't mean everyone's gonna get an abortion so it's why, just that they have why, the right. why do you think it's bad because i get the pro abortion argument which is the baby's not really a baby it's not life it's not human forget about it it's just but like getting i think i it. think it's bad because it's a sad thing to go through period yeah, yeah for like, a, it's um, a girl and, like, Why is it sad though? I guess, because it's saying. like you have to do something. Because I don't think people really are going in there and being like, "I want to kill this fetus." Like it's not right. being like, yeah. no one's going to be like, "I'm going to kill this." Yes, it's life. No one's to kill yeah. life. Point period. But it, some for some people, it has to happen. I know this girl who's a friend of mine, and she didn't know she was pregnant, and she was on birth control, and she found out she was five months pregnant, and she was like, "I cannot have this kid. Like, there's no way I'm in high school." This girl couldn't do Why it. Why couldn't she just have the kid and give him give the kid up for adoption? <laughs> but she that's she just like changes your whole, whole life. life. Yeah. You say that like it's the easiest, easiest thing, thing in ever. Like, just well, you're carry talking it. about abortion like, like it's the easiest. It's thing. not. It's but not. Yeah, but but yeah, your life changes so much more after that fact. You know you're having you a kid out there that's being like your guys. One at a time. One at a time, please. Otherwise, you know you have a kid in the ground because you killed the kid. No, they're not going to be in the ground because they're not big enough to be buried. They're not going to because they would be disintegrated within. They would decompose. It, it depends on hours, at, honestly. At five months, the baby's pretty <laughs> So are you pro-life at, at five, five months? Point, or what is five months? That's just like well, you mentioned. Uh, from right. I was just like no, an experience from a girl that we knew like in high guys, school. Guys, hold on. One microphone yeah. at a time. Well, yeah. I'll, I'll get you after t- 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 it. I was just wondering if it's like after three months or after. No, inception. from the beginning. I don't think it. You know, I don't think it makes sense to just pick an arbitrary date and say okay. It's six not, that's why it's arbitrary though, because it's it's supposed to be by each case by case because we can't tell when every embryo is going to be viable outside no, of the womb. No, but I'm not saying viable. I'm saying from the beginning. That's what, but then that's not, what, about that's like, what you think. But what we're saying is why it's case by case is because we don't want to say, oh, <laughs> We're gonna ban um, after 20 weeks. You can't. When some babies might be viable at 18 weeks. But I don't weeks. care when it's. So that's. Viable. Can I finish my statement? <laughs> yeah. Just like, so, you're, you're go, go ahead. A standard that I don't K- think. Matters. Kiko, you go. Then Michael. Then Taylor. I, mean, I forgot okay. it. I go to the bathroom though. Uh, okay. Um, As someone was writing a message. Um, we'll, we'll get to it yeah. later, Michael. Did you have a response? Yes. Well, or? just in, yeah, in response to that point, because Kiko was focusing on well, at what point is the baby viable to live outside the mother's room? But I. That, is, that isn't the question that matters. The question that matters is, when is this thing a human? When is this thing alive? And the only answer to that question, just by definition, is at the moment of conception, because conception just means the beginning of life. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with you. What, what, it's just sad scenarios, like if, it, if a kid is born to like, you know, drug-addicted parents. Well, they could give the baby up for adoption. Yeah, but... Do I mean, you really think they're going to make they that don't. smart choice if they're I mean, drug-addicted parents? Yeah, I don't think there's like enough structure to... Well, if there's so you're to saying any life is better than the bad life? Yeah, I, I'm saying life is better than yeah, being I mean, killed. I agree yeah. with you. All guess, life is better than oh, being killed. I guess another argument is like, what if a girl is young enough, right, and she's so desperate that she's going to go somewhere else and or do it herself or something? Like well, that. you know, How it's do interesting you prevent that? because, you're, because what? you're saying that illegal abortions would be more dangerous, yeah. Yeah, but, the, like but they're not life. actually. This is the weird thing. In the year before Roe v. Wade mm-hmm. was uh, allowed abortion everywhere, do you know how many women died from illegal back alley abortions mm-hmm. in America? What Th- if the 39. <laughs> really? And 24 women died from legal abortion. So you're pro illegal abortion? No, I'm anti <laughs> all abortion, but when you look at when you look at the number of states where it was legal, mm-hmm. legal abortions, illegal abortions were roughly the same but uh, how would they document that do you think like people that uh, did it dangerously 
Like, would it be recorded? They would frequently have to. Well, I, it's women who die from this. Yeah, like they would end up in the hospital. Hold on, let, let's have Tatum come oh, in. Oh, no, I like... Oh, I okay, <laughs> if you remember it, let me know. Um, I feel like abortions are going to happen either way, like yeah. she was saying. Like I, prostitution. It's, it's going to happen mm. either way, and I feel like it's better if we have a safe way for these women to get abortions instead of mm-hmm. knowing it's going to happen and just, like, <clears throat> putting a blind eye towards it. And... But but if there if there's a law against it, there are going to be far fewer abortions. I think right? the law should be not more necessarily. complex. No, it's I just wouldn't. so black and white, and this issue is not black mm-hmm. and white. Yeah, I know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, if there aren't going to be fewer abortions if you make it illegal, then why not just make it illegal if it's not going to matter? Well, legal. I think, like for example, you know, going to a doctor and like the doctor prescribes drugs so freely these days, like for yeah. men. You know, it's kind of the same thing with the boy. I think uh, if someone's going to go get an abortion, it should be much more. Like the doctor should be part of the whole. Yes, I hundred percent agree. Try to deter the person and like or help in how to deter it. Yeah, yeah. But But I just like making it so black and white. It's just. But it just seems to me you all have. I think all of you have the moral intuition that it's wrong, because because especially because you're women and you just don't want to kill your children. But so you know that it's wrong. So then why not follow that to its logical conclusion and say we shouldn't because do it? Because I feel it. like if it's just uh, illegal, right, then uh, women will but have less help with Also, it. what she was saying is this whole situation is not so black and white. It's mm-hmm. not just it's wrong. <coughs> There's like other things that go way into it that you have to take into part that make a deciding factor on whether or not a woman wants an abortion. It's not just like oh, I'm doing this thing that's wrong. It's like I'm doing this thing but I could, like there's other parts of it that's way more wrong too. So what do you, what, what, what like, do you let's mean? say a girl gets raped. Do you really think she wants to have that reminder of her having a child? But she could give the child up for adoption. But that's, that's that's child's it. You fault. keep saying I that. I would not, not want to go, go through, through pregnancy. pregnancy. Like, yeah. You're going through an entire pregnancy where yeah. your whole body's changing. Your body's going to be changed, changed forever after but that. But what if you give birth to someone who's like the next, who I don't know. Who cares? Uh, the, the, next the, the, next the next what? The next what? Or even if not, even just a regular person. What's the likelihood of that when they want the next Hitler and then they're like raised by terrible parents? But there are about 36 couples couples who want to adopt for every newborn baby put up for adoption in the U.S. So there would be no shortage of a couple to adopt a baby. But I know it's incredibly hard to adopt in the U.S. That's right. That's why, because there are so many couples well, who want to adopt every yet. newborn baby. It's expensive. Yeah. So either way, uh, it's changing that girl's life forever. But it already it just ha- the girl's life's already changed. Yeah. She's pregnant. If she gets she's no. going through a trauma. It's she not going to be as changed. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I feel like it would not be as changed. But as you know what? Really? Like when I'm you see yes. a baby, it's different because when you see it, it becomes real. When you don't yes. see it, it's not real. It doesn't. Well, but when no, you don't see it, it doesn't seem. You know, real, is I've what you're known saying. people that had abortions and it affects I mean, them ten years later in life. How would you even know? As a man, if it's gonna be a detrimental change to this woman's life, how would you? Even well, because I, I you don't know the I have children, of, and, I, and of I know women carrying who have, a child. I know plenty of women who've had babies, and I know plenty of women who've had abortions, and I have seen that. I do too. I know, and yeah. I know. And that you're, you're telling me that the abortions my, have not affected. If my mom hadn't had the abortion she had, I wouldn't be here. Your mother had abortions. Mm. Do you do you think that perhaps part of the reason you defend it is to justify your mother's abortions? No, no. 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 I was pro. I was pro choice before that. Before your mother had an no, abortion? before she, she I found out. Well, do you, do you think, though, that you were obviously raised in an environment that's pro-abortion, so, you know, uh, certainly your views are going to be colored. No, by not necessarily. My dad's not pro-abortion. My mom's mm-hmm. not pro-abortion, and I'm so pro-abortion. There's, like, certain, th- I don't think, like we said, there's middle grounds on things yeah. that we take. But not, this This is not a middle ground. You're just saying I'm pro-abortion. I think yeah. a lot of it pro-choice. is because pro- people access don't of like abortion. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. the government telling them. I think a lot, of it, a lot of it with women is that they don't like the fact that it's the government that's dictating it. But you the know. government dictates all these important I know, but I think it's just and I don't people, like that they know, dictate don't like You don't like that there are laws against burglary and like No, but they don't try to dictate like my body and try and tell me what to do with it. Do you think there should be laws against heroin? Like using heroin? There, yeah. That's laws. a law against against you using your body as you like. So I would people ta- still do heroin, right? But far fewer people do. But that's than if it detrimental to, to your body. That's like a drug that's going to ruin you. Yeah. Having an abortion is going to save gonna a lot of women's lives. No, 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 save a doesn't. lot of women's lives. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. It, 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 there is no uh, condition in which a woman needs an abortion. So say. how does it ruin your child if that child has no consciousness, never existed, never started, well, we anything, that, exists. never existed, the child is not never had a name, never had a... A memory. Yeah, it's never had a birthday. Birthday. anything. Even know never it's even actually cried, never even opened his eyes, never even had, like, most of the time, never even had... Blessed. Anything, yeah. Like, how how is that ruining someone's life that well, never? Because the child is deprived existed. of the chance to grow up. 
I don't think we can talk about that. I don't think the child cares about its life. It's it's deprived of what I never even, yeah. But a a person can be deprived of something without being conscious of it. Like in the case of killing someone in a coma. So I'm, so like right now I'm being deprived of being a billionaire. So my life is. No, because, because you're, you're not entitled to be a billionaire. You don't have a right to be a billionaire. You're not entitled really to life either. You do. If, in fact, if you have any rights at all, you must necessarily. Based on our our healthcare system and everything that's going on, technically you don't have entitlement to life mm because the simple things we need to live is so expensive that most people can't even afford it here. So how is that an entitlement to life? We're all living just fine. We're we're all living just fine. Are we the whole population? You think we're all living just fine? Yeah, I think we're living (laughs) great. Can I ask you something? How do you define consciousness? Like, what is consciousness to you? When you have... Like, do we know what consciousness is? I would say you're conscious. Like, because some people believe that See, you know, I don't consciousness use exists in the universe, right? Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a hard one for me to think. I don't really... Because I don't... My, for my thing, yeah. I don't say, oh, it's wrong once they're conscious. My whole thing is once they're viable on their mm-hmm. own. And I'm not talking well, about... Because if they, they are they are a parasite at that point. I'm not saying no. like they are viable <laughs> in the point like they have to be born and like can just walk and be on their own. But if they are yeah. born and can't be on a ventilator or something and a machine can't even keep them alive, yeah, they they are just a parasite at that point. No, no, I mean, they are a creature living in our body. If it had a different a name, we would have killed it and gotten rid of it. But just the, like if it was a, a pregnancy that was killing our body we would get rid of it because right now it's a parasite that's hurting the body the difference between a parasite though and what you're describing is that what you're describing is your child so it's human it's not a parasite it's a human being is it really though at that point yeah yeah, uh, I don't. Got, that's where we disagree. It's got, it's got, no, mm. well, it's not just a matter of disagreement. Wait, I, it's got unique human DNA. And, and for you, are you? Um, it doesn't though. If had DNA, we like it. Does. Do you like the death? Like, are you pro death penalty? Yes, like? I'm very pro death. So, penalty. how are you saying that everyone has a right to live if you're pro death penalty? <laughs> well, because the civil authority, the civil authority has the right how to exact you, justice. You were doing the, I, I wrote a whole um, topic on in debate class because if you're religious, right? Yeah. So how are you pro death penalty mm-hmm. if you are not God? Because the, the because uh, whosoever sheds the blood of man by man shall his blood be shed. Yeah, but because man is made in the image and likeness of God. But so who you, is who is to decide when to take that? Soul the civil away? authority, which does not bear the sword in vain. But who is the who is to decide who that civil authority is? Well, there are different forms of civil authority. There's monarchy, oligarchy, and democracy, and different so societies no God. at different times. Well, no, God does, in His foreordaining providence, uh, uh, permit but the civil authority and it entrusts the enactment of justice so to that is, civil authority. You but you said religion, that my body religion. belongs to the God. Mm-hmm. You were no, saying you your, your body belongs to God, as, as does your soul. I, I feel like once you bring religion just into it, I feel like there's really no argument. Cause well, I, here, here's why. I mean, I'll just do it like really quickly as to why religion has to come into it. It's because all of our political ideas rest on, as we have discussed, mm-hmm. ideas of applied morality, right? Mm-hmm. What's good and what's bad. And morality rests on a basis of epistemology, which is how we can know anything at all. And epistemology rests on a basis of anthropology, which is the question of what is human nature? What is a human mm-hmm. even to know anything? And anthropology rests on a basis of ontology, which is what does it mean? to be. And then ontology rests on a basis of theology, which is what is the fundament of reality? The, the, the uh, but, Okay, so you're saying it all goes creation. back to religion, but I'm saying you can't go back to one religion, because there's mm-hmm. multiple yeah, religions. Religion is a habit of, of justice that renders to God what he is due. That's so, what that means. Yeah, I don't even understand what that means. I think we're all living a video game. Yeah. <laughs> a video yeah. game. It might uh, be a decent metaphor. Simulation. Yeah. So I, I have a question for you, Michael. Um, if you had to steel man the uh, pro-choice side, yeah, you're familiar with? I, yeah. I assume you're familiar with the term steel man. Um, what what are some of the what is or what are some of the strongest arguments that you hear from people who are pro-choice? The, the strongest argument for abortion would be that uh, there's no such thing as God. I guess hmm. the strong because in order for abortion to be uh, e- even remotely acceptable, th- there would, we would just have to be stuff. We just have to be matter, right? There wouldn't be good or bad or right or wrong. We are I think matter. We, I think we are. Physics, I honestly, I do think that physics, there is no but good or According bad. to metaphysics, we're also a soul. Yeah. yeah, but I believe in physics more than metaphysics. Well, the two go together. But right? then the, the, the way that, the they way can that, coexist together if you're saying they're different. No, different things. Can, we're, we're all different people, and yet we coexist together. But then you're saying that we have... Like, so you know, I should not believe in God for me to not believe in pro-life. 
Like, no, I mean, there are, I can make plenty of secular arguments for anything you want. It's just ultimately, you know, ultimately it does come down to God because everything comes down to God ultimately. So what, what would be, I, if, if, if we remove religion, if we remove re religion from it, what, what is the strongest argument you hear from someone who's pro-choice? Is it a bodily autonomy argument or is that not particularly yeah, compelling? I mean, I think they're all really pretty silly arguments. The, the strongest argument I, I could imagine is that, is that, we live in a materialist world, so uh, all of the metaphysical things that we <clears throat> pretend to care about or we think that we care about, you know, our loves, our hopes, our dreams, our joys, our emotions, that's all just fake. It's all a trick played by chemicals firing off in our brains, and mm -hmm. we're actually just bags of flesh, and we're eventually going to die and take a dirt nap and turn to worm food, and that's mm -hmm. all that there is, just oblivion, which, which can be uh, compelling in the Sounds modern right. world. Yeah, no, Sounds I mean, that's, right. and that's, how we, that's yeah. very often how we treat ourselves, though... Actually, the way that we behave, the way that you're all talking, you don't really believe that because you're saying some things well, are good, some things are bad. Well, you don't want to believe that because you don't want to believe that because you want no, to believe that. No, I think a lot of people do want to believe that because no. they, they want to live without consequences. I feel like if we all believed that, we would all live a very sad and like mopey life of like not really caring about anything. And I feel like people want to believe that so they have reason and purpose mm -hmm. and something for them to do with their life and so that they're just not shitting on themselves all day long. No, well, what, what you would do, if I didn't believe in God, which I didn't for a while, I would do what I did then, which is just be very hedonistic. I would party I all the time. I would. You disagree? I don't believe in God, but I'm not hedonistic. Why not? Because I don't care. For me, the short-term pleasure doesn't have any, uh, um, like, any good in it. I pursue long-term pleasure. I pursue the long-term um, achievements, goals, um, ideas. And I know a lot of people but who are religious who do are do want short-term pleasure very well yeah that's called sin and temptation that's true but but uh, you know so y you're interested in long-term goals yeah but why because in the, the grand scheme of things in the grand scheme of things that's still short term no, but by the what? perspective what of mean? eternity right the, the scientists tell long -term, us here I mean, 14 billion my life old. my life that's what long term is but for that's me, a like, blip that's nothing i care as long as like i can think my consciousness is here that's what i care about i don't care what's going to be like there after whatever and what's been before me what matters mm -hmm. right now is like what my conscious can take and my conscious can only take what is happening right now right here it cannot take the yesterday anymore it cannot take the future anymore it can only take right now and right now i believe that i'm right now i'm pursuing my my you know life dreams that are not um necessarily um like short-term pleasure like i'm not like i don't know i'm i'm going for masters let's say it's not something very appealing like it's not that i'm gonna go through a party after the show but like it's still um it has more value to me than something hedonistic as you were saying hmm. that's good I, it's I'm, I'm stumped because it's good that you're doing that i just don't think it makes sense that you're doing that if Why? there's nothing higher well because are you if, talking about like purpose and the purpose? Yeah, I think soul? you're just kind of just being you're, happy. Like, she yeah, wants that's to be happy what for makes herself. There's have to be a greater being because so because so no, for but her you're to be you're happy suppressing your own short-term happiness for long-term happiness. I'm which not I think suppressing is a good thing. my short-term happiness. You just said that you were. No, you said I'm you're giving up short-term pleasures for long. -term for me, pleasure. party is not fun. I don't derive fun in that. I don't. Oh, so you're not giving up short-term pleasures. No, you just have different pleasures. Yeah, I. Oh, okay, okay, that makes sense. Kiko, did you have a, f a final thought on this? I have one more question for you, Michael, related yes. to this, and then we'll move on to a different topic. Oh, I mean, one thing he said was, if I even remember my full point, but you started saying, like, the only argument against um, pro-life is, like, there's no God or whatever. And I just think, yeah, maybe that's what, you know, highly Catholic people think, but I feel like for most pro-choice people is we just put higher higher importance over the living woman over the but, but embryo he, inside that's yeah. not living we just we put yeah. we put more importance over present the present woman who's living who has her life mm -hmm. already established and what can change and giving her the choice because only that woman knows how that whatever is inside of her will affect her so it's giving her the choice instead of forcing her to have something that has no establishment that nobody's going to miss except yeah. for maybe her the only one who's going to feel the most pain is is the person the having the abortion the yeah 
Not but, the baby. You, they but cannot but feel. You, that, uh, even from a scientific point, they oh, cannot feel. I, I that, that, mean, that, that's, I, I that's mean, come on. I mean, we're not going to argue that. Existential. <laughs> yeah, we're not arguing I mean, I mean, <laughs> I mean su suffering injustice. It depends. Uh, also, physically, it would depend on when you had the abortion. But, but the, the, the reason that I don't find that very compelling is because I agree, you're right. That's what the modern kind of liberal pro-abortion people say. But it doesn't make sense even by the liberal premises because the the idea of modern liberalism is that you have certain rights, and we call these human rights, we call them natural rights, and so the basic ones that our country is sort of founded on is life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. But the problem with that is the, the, you're saying that you would prioritize the liberty in a certain sense of the mother and over the life And the pursuit of happiness, because her happiness is going to be so... over the life of the fetus. It's her life, it's her world. liberty, and it's her pursuit of but happiness, because she's life. already an American. Technically, that thing is not even... We don't even know where that thing is going to be born. It could be born anywhere. It, that's that's yeah. life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. <laughs> the, the is an American thing. It could be but. born in well, any country, any place. We don't even know sure. where this woman's going to go. But the we don't even know if it's going to make it past <laughs> childbirth. <laughs> you don't. You don't know. Life's a mystery, isn't it? But the reason that's not and compelling is because you're saying that these these secondary rights like liberty and the pursuit of happiness and I don't know fajitas on Saturday that these these are all trump the fetuses the baby's right to life but that can't be the case because those other rights rely upon the right to life that the right to life is not one right among many but it's the basic fundamental right without which none of the others can exist Tatum you wanted to go go ahead you had something I just feel like abortion should not be based off of like like you're saying it was like it's not liberal ideology and stuff that like yeah I'm not a liberal either so I, yeah, I don't really care you know I just feel like it's more about experience like the the personal experience it's context. that you're going through context yeah based. the context you can't do a house of journalization and call it a an, an, uh, sound argument but do you ma you don't you don't make your moral decisions just based on how you're feeling in the morning? You don't think that would be a sound way of no, making moral decisions? You got to think it through. Abortions are thought through. Yeah, I feel but like but yeah, so that's different than what you just said though, which is it can't be just this rigid, you know, ideological thinking. It's got to be more based on what you're feeling. No, it can't be so black and white. It, yeah, it's it's there's, there's way more put into it. It's not just a very good and bad <coughs> thing. It's there's yeah. a lot. I think the only black and white is we probably shouldn't talk about abortion and death penalty in the same sentence. Why not? I, I don't I, see there any contradiction no, 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 at all. I, I agree with you. It's just that, you know, I agree with you. Like, death penalty is just, you know, people already, to be sentenced to that, people committed. Well, apparently really everyone has the right but to like, life. I didn't, I, I but, like, I already know, you know, there was a case where it was wrongfully you know, someone was wrongfully accused. Oh, yeah. So that it's happens, just, yeah. yeah, I mean, um, so that's why, like, I don't know. But that doesn't mean we get rid of the criminal justice system. No, I, I totally agree yeah. with you. It's just like, you know, a child is innocent, and then you talk about death penalty. Not you. I just, like, Yeah, no, I, of course. Well, that's so true if you so sentence a guy to 50 years in yeah, prison. Just, you know, that's so a shame, too. It's a that we talk about, like, an innocent child, and then the death, you know, someone's well, crazy. Well, people I can just, get things wrong. Yeah, people, I, you know, I just bring up the death penalty because you're over here talking about how everyone has the right to life, but now you're dictating whether or not can, someone can have life. No, I'm saying, saying that the civil authority has the right and the responsibility well, to enact who, justice. Not God anymore, apparently. Yes. Well, well, the civil authority governs the affairs on earth. Yeah. But then you're saying God has and like decides all of that. So why didn't the God decide that, I don't know, Vladimir Putin is not the best person on the mm. planet? And oh, because it's, it's a fallen world and sin and death pervade the world because Adam ate it. So how can I then trust somebody and trust that somebody will make a decision if that decision is inconclusive and different? Uh, like, how, it's, to it's, how to trust the civil authority? Yeah, even a civil authority or a god. Like, how do you, if it's, so the only person I can tr can well, have a yeah. trust in is only myself and my own moral, no, whatever that is. No, you can't trust yourself. Have you made mistakes? Are you a perfect person? Not even close. You can't trust yourself. So why That's do we insane. trust you? Why do we trust the civil authority? Why do we trust them if we can't trust ourselves? Well, because pe people, <laughs> I mean, I'm not necessarily telling you to trust me, though. I like to think that I've, in some way, So why do we trust the civil authority, then? Like, well, why don't? Because, because exactly. There's still people. Be because people practice varying degrees of virtue and vice, both of which are habits. Mm -hmm. And so the more you practice them, the easier they become, though it's a fallen world, so we all still make mistakes. And so what we want is to, in this country, elect leaders who are virtuous and who are wise and who are prudent and just like you. But I, I, I just want to ask oh, you. Oh, I thought you were volunteering to be a leader. Oh, no, but um, based on all your beliefs, yeah. I'm curious. So we're moving towards the future where artificial intelligence is going to be so prevalent. Do you, that, you don't want to get married? No. Not, no. no. Why, why not? Uh-oh. All right. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven. Yeah. All right, one V7, okay. Um, well, so... I, I'm not opposed to necessarily having a life partner, but there there are <laughs> there are certain 
sorry, I'm sorry, Michael. There are certain <laughs> realities when it comes to, to marriage that from the male perspective make it seem uh, risky. Oh, only from the male perspective? Because I can feel like well, it's also risky men from are the female's the, perspective. W- how so? I think you've never been in love. I feel like... I <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if or you're thinking about risk factor, I feel like it goes both ways. Yeah. Okay, like they're turning on me. <laughs> well, it's... But, but to your point, Brian, you... You know, you make a good amount of money. You, the way the judicial system works, if a woman divorced you, she could take a bunch of your money. She could take your kids. So there's a risk. But my question is, if you're already going to have a life partner, which mm-hmm. sounds, I'm sorry to say, kind of gay. Like, it's not, <laughs> it's not gendered. Gay. It's not traditional. Thank you for it, saying that. It's just, so I, if you're going to do that anyway, why, and, but you want to protect against divorce, mm-hmm. why not just marry a woman who's not going to get divorced? Well, or get a prenup. I, you know the yeah, thing. Yeah, literally. So, so you you're saying like, well, if you find the the a great woman that you know that's no, just not even just that. I'm saying because you, you know you could find the most wonderful woman in the mm-hmm. world, and then I don't know someday something goes off in her brain and she totally turns on you. But what if you create the structures such that you're not going to get divorced? I'll give you an example. I'm Catholic. My wife and I cannot get divorced. She could murder me. That would be her way out of the marriage. Mm-hmm. But she, we can. It is not possible for us to get divorced. Now, if you, let's say you're not Catholic yet, and maybe you don't, you know, you, ha- you haven't worked through these things, maybe... You Wait, did s- you say yet? <laughs> well, I'm, Are you just, we're just talking. And okay. so, uh, I'm saying, what if before you get married, you sign a prenup, but not the yeah. kind of prenup now, not the kind of prenup where you say, okay, in case we get divorced, you know, we get 50-50. Ah. What if you sign a prenup that says, if you divorce I me... I will kill who, you. Yeah, <laughs> I'll kill you. <laughs> Whoever brings the divorce forfeits everything. That's called. That's the Knowles prenup, and then you're and then you're safe. She's not going to take your kids. She's not going to take your money, and you get to be married sure. and not have a life partner. Sure. I mean, I've, I, I'd love to bring on like, uh, a family attorney to ask him questions about this, but kind of what I've heard in my understanding when it comes to prenuptial agreements is that oftentimes they they can be thrown out, and they don't. I, I don't think prenups can apply to uh, post marriage. So you can protect your assets that you've um, acquired pre marriage. I could be totally off base here, but I've heard prenups can get thrown out. Someone could say, oh, I was signed it under duress, blah, blah, blah. It's unfair. It's, um, there's a specific term for it that's uh, evading me right now. It's, um, but is that why you don't want to get married? Because you're afraid of the divorce, potentially? I'm or? afraid of women. Why not just date another <laughs> successful woman? Do you have not trust issues, it. Ryan? Well, this is, uh, yeah. It sounds yeah. like, it sounds like you yeah. have trust pile, issues. Pile it's just on. Michael and the girls <laughs> here. <laughs> I'm intervening with you, Brian. Um, like, if you date another successful <laughs> woman... <laughs> Wouldn't that fear kind of disappear? Because then, if anything, it's like you know she yeah, could be scared of uh-huh. your. What if she's more successful than you? Or money or something what if like she's that? making more money than you are? Yeah. yeah. Like why are we assuming also, that you're the breadwinner? You want a wife, right? I mean, I'm, you you want to uh, not apparently you know. not. Maybe he wants to be. Well, a he wants a life partner, like, Mike. Yeah. He wants <laughs> a life partner. Yeah. Well, you're right. Okay. He wants maybe a dog. That does sound. <laughs> you know. You know what's yeah. big now is virtual virtual girlfriends, yeah. virtual wives. It's, it's a is thing that, now. Like uh, this AI. one. You get an AI one? <laughs> <laughs> or, or he'll just be a passport. You know he wants a dog yeah. that speaks future, English. Yeah. But she can take all the... Oh, <laughs> and sure. that he wouldn't but get in trouble like for... But it's like a thing in the future now. You can have a virtual... It's like an AI, but it's all <laughs> interactive. We're figuring out your love life here. Like, yeah. 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 like Siri. Why aren't you married? Just put all your faith into us and we can figure it out for you. Yeah, we'll figure out all your love life We really want to get to the root of this problem. Yeah. I just... I. I don't see the the benefit. Don't. Uh, well, uh, this is why I ask. Don't you want a wife? Of having it's a like, companion. There, I can have a companion and not be married. <laughs> and I'm not a fan of the government, so I don't want the government involved in my love. But affairs. if you, you live with children? someone more than ten years, you're gonna be it's legally, legally be married. Legally. It's common not, law marriage anyway. Well, not. That's only some states. Not all states have common law marriage. Mm-hmm. California. We do. I don't we know do. how long. No, California does not have common law marriage. Yeah, we but, do. Yeah, we do. Yeah, my we parents do. are by that. No, not that's California. The only I'm pretty re- sure California is not common law marriage. Yeah, no. That's yeah, the only reason why my mom is still my dad. Google so. it. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I'll, I'll do common law marriage. They're legally states, married we'll, by we'll the state, up. but they've never um, been. They haven't been dating since 2001. So they okay, for one here: year. Colorado, Iowa, Kansas, Montana, New Hampshire, Oklahoma, Rhode Island, South Carolina, Texas, Utah, and DC. Those are the only, uh, according to this. Sterling Lawyers. You're a very com. quick Google search. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Your two second search. So I, yeah, it's, I think it's a minority of states that have common law marriage. Yeah. But yes, that is a risk factor in those states. If, if you are cohabitating with somebody and you almost treat your relationship as if you're married, then you are basically, in the eyes of the law, you are married. Uh, luckily in California, which I don't know how much longer I'm going to stay here, um, 
I'm probably going to get canceled by proxy because Michael's on the show. But um, <laughs> uh, just kidding. But <laughs> maybe uh, kidding. I don't know. You probably uh, the franchise tax board is going to come and evict you. Probably. Oh, geez. Scary stuff. Um, so I, I don't have anything against for other people. I, that's great. I just I've sort of looked at the the numbers. I've done the calculus, and it just to me it seems like here I'll put the math here. here I've, done, I've done the math. You know, fifty percent of marriages end in divorce, and it, I, the stats I've seen eighty percent of divorces are initiated by women. And so when I say it, yeah. it's bad for the man. Divorce. Um, the, the negative consequences of divorce typically tend to disproportionately impact men. They can impact women, but I mean, I think 97% of, it's like 97% of al alimony payments go from men to women. So there, there are some concerns there financially, and then just you have the government involved, and then it can be quite contentious. And then not only is there the consideration in terms of splitting your assets, but then you have lawyers involved. And, mm -hmm. And I, I don't have anything necessarily wrong, perhaps from a religious perspective with marriage, but when the state's involved, and I think we ought to perhaps rewrite marriage laws to perhaps incentivize men to get married again because you have no-fault divorce. Yeah. And yeah. Um, uh, what's the other thing? And then, um, you know, your wife could cheat on you and then take half your shit. I think under certain circumstances, if you can prove it in, in a courtroom that... Perhaps you shouldn't be on the hook for alimony if there's been some infidelity, for example. You're saying That's so that you could dump support. your wife if she cheats on you? Yes, without any <laughs> Brian, financial. Brian, who hurt Most you? Most prenups. <laughs> yeah. Like, who, okay. Okay. Let me ask like, you a question. I feel like you're always yeah. worried about like something going to happen bad. Like, why don't you just like you have no trust and faith in? But I think women. it's the society I mean, we live in now. Well, let, let, me so like let, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. So, how many people get married and they think, "Hey, this is the person I love. We're going to be together forever." And then you, you hear that divorce rate, it's like 50% of marriages end in divorce. I think when people get married very young, right? When but isn't that the best time to get married? Not mm. necessarily. Well, Michael, thoughts on that? Some of the, well, well, I, you're, I, you're like I didn't an exception. Get, I didn't get married young, though. I've only been married now about five years. Yeah. But I, I should have gotten married younger. It's one of my quasi-regrets in life. Mm. But some of the best marriages I've ever seen were people who got married 20 years old or 22 mm -hmm. or 23 years old. I just wonder, Brian, if because sure. all the objections you're raising are completely legit. Sure, sure. I just wonder if y you you are looking at an alternative mm. that doesn't really exist, that's illusory. Because if you're, if you're thinking, okay, I'm going to have more freedom if I don't get married, mm. I, don't, I don't know if that's true. You know, If you're always in one of these situations, even if you're just dating, where mm -hmm. you think, well, where are we? Where do we stand? Is he going to leave me? Is this, that? Is that? In a marriage, in a proper marriage, all that is gone. And so you think, I had a bad day, I got in a fight with my wife, mm. I didn't do the laundry, whatever. doesn't matter, especially if you believe in marriage like marriage really is. You say this is an institution defined by real things. I made a covenant before God and the political community. I signed up with the government. They're going to take my money if I break this covenant. And that actually, it seems like it puts limitations on you, but it actually <laughs> gives you a ton of freedom. Because <laughs> you can think, oh, I'm here. We're in this. There's no, there's no getting out. 100%. There's no way up and through, and so we're just going to make this thing work. It, I, I find it's a very freeing experience. Yeah, what if you also meet someone and she's like, I want to get married and you're in love with this girl? What you, is it a deal breaker for you? Uh, I have not crossed that, <laughs> uh, hasn't found that, that yet. road yet. Yeah. But um, I don't know. I, I mean, my, my thinking on this is, is just you should never sign a contract with someone who's rewarded <laughs> for breaking it. And in today's day and age, oftentimes if you break the marriage contract, you, there are certain financial benefits that you can reach. You can so. go get married in another country, and then you don't have to Passport bros, we up. Mm -hmm. uh, I think <laughs> Japan, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Actually, you know what's happening in Japan? Because women can't find, there's not enough guys. So there's a thing where they have one woman wedding because all these girls want to get married. Oh. Tokyo, so here so I so come. To you know what, Michael? You've convinced me <laughs> to get married. In <laughs> fact, Eric, if you can hide this, um, Tatum. What? Oh, oh gosh. Wow. You pull it then, out. Will you marry me, Tatum? Where did you just get that from? <laughs> yeah, like last so time you reached say. for it, you just had that ready. I had it ready. He knew you were coming. He's he new. already knew. Tatum. Will you marry me? <laughs> yeah. Okay, put it. Put, oh. All right. Thank you, Michael. You're the best wingman okay. ever. Congratulations, and, man. That's and great. Brian, I will be divorcing you at the end of this podcast. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> All right. 
Can can you do a little uh, Beyonce? Oh, all right, okay, look at that. <laughs> nice. For the people in the back. <laughs> all right, Tatum Atlas. Okay, cool. What's she's, her last she's name? She's keeping the last name. <laughs> Wait, are we hyphenating? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> They're both going to know. You're not going to keep your last name. But then our family's name runs out. Yeah, there's two girls. Only two girls? Yeah. Only well, two girls? Well, that's the way things shake out, right? I mean, your, your family's name is either going to be your husband's name or your father's name. Why? Because that's what your last yeah. name is. But why yeah. can't... I want to keep my father's last name, so I'll just keep my father's last name if I get married. Why? Fiona Flynn, have you heard that? That's that, a great name. That's a nice name. I'm not, I, you know, I have friends who married guys with horrible last names. <laughs> Porn star. But it's kind of weird. I know. <laughs> would you your really, last girlfriend. When you get married, you would keep your father's last name? No. No, you wouldn't. I no want to. She's talked about it. Unless the last name makes Unless my name really Unless the last name, really name cool. is really awesome. But I like then, the way my last name yeah, sounds. Yeah, I like my last name too. Doesn't that feel like you're not really getting married then? No. You're not really forming no, a new family? No, I mean, family. if you're devoted to each other in every way possible, I don't it, think... I think my last name is very trivial me, yeah. part of it. Your name is very... It's what you are called. It's so how you're so identified the last in the name world. name is not what I'm called. Can oh. I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. So then if you have kids, right, are they going to take your husband's last name or yours? I'm not having Or you're going to so. hyphenate it? Do you don't want kids? No. Why not? <laughs> because I just don't want to bring kids into the world right now, so... Or any time from the way the world's looking. The world's always <laughs> looking bad. It's I been know, looking bad I for just, thousands of years. But you got born. Aren't we were you happy around. about that? We were around. You're not happy about that? <laughs> no. I don't believe you're smiling. I don't I, believe no, that for I'm a second. No, I'm not happy about it. Uh, that's really sad to hear. That's fair. I don't believe that for a second. If there's, it's, I mean, there's pros and cons. But I mean, I just, I don't know. I feel like it's a very, I mean, being a parent's a very serious thing. I don't feel like a lot of people take it serious enough. <clears> and I feel like there's a lot of kids in this world who have, bad parents or who are dealing with trauma from parents and it's affecting the way these people are raised and like the people in our community and how they come out and i just don't want to be at fault for like giving a kid now a you sound life. like him though now you're doing it's you're all doing this thing where you're like i don't want any responsibility <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. i would like i if it happens it happens but i'm not like planning on having kids i mean she'd also adopt if she I mean, feels like she needs yeah, yeah i feel like i would adopt before i actually have a kid wait you, why until would you she's like adopt? 35 mm, and she'll feel i don't want to yeah adopt. you would also, you guys want to adopt like, over having your own why giving a, like giving birth i don't know because i feel like there's so many kids it's out scary. there but yeah, there's a lot of kids but like so then are you going to adopt someone of your own culture or are you going to like branch out? I don't know. If I were to adopt, it... We're not adopting. Oh. <laughs> She's divorcing you after She's this. Adopting. Yeah, I told you I'm divorcing you after this. I'm taking half your podcast. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> who are you taking? Who? If you're getting half the podcast, who do you take with you? <laughs> That's true. Eric. I'm taking Eric. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Eric deserves better. <laughs> Okay, um, good times. Go to Michael, brain. how long have you been married? <laughs> I've been married now five years, coming up on five years. Oh, it's a shit show out there. It's, no, look. I, it's a shit show. I missed dating apps. Like, I, I got back together with They're my terrible. then girlfriend now. Yeah, they seem horrible. I, so I just missed it. And uh, so that would be hard, especially if I were a single guy mm. and I were living in dating app culture and I just knew there were always just, there, there's always going to be some hotter, mm. I don't know, what, like check a hotter, younger, wander, or whatever, like mm -hmm. girl, right? Sure. But you're, you're from here or you're not from here? I'm from New York originally. You're from New York. Okay, yeah. so even better. And you said you've known your wife since you guys were 10? Yes, yes. So, I mean, if you've known her since you were 10, you've been single between those times. You've seen multiple women. You've seen everybody out there. You had your time to yeah. explore and no, you basically learned that Maybe there's not better, and that's why you're with yes, your wife. Yes, but that's kind of like the modern lib thing is you've got to split up and do your mm. own thing and go. But I don't believe that either. Yeah, I, yeah just, I think it was BS. I wish we, there was so much cultural pressure when my wife and I, a sweet little Elisa, when we were in, in mm -hmm. high school, we they said, oh, you've got to split for college. You'd be crazy to date your girlfriend, and your high school girlfriend mm -hmm. in college. And then by the end of college, we're like, why the hell did we break up? That was crazy. We should have gotten married at 18, pumped out like a dozen kids, gone to move to a farm, and grown a big beard. Yeah, I didn't say all that. Sam, can, can you push your <laughs> microphone now closer towards you? Yeah. Um, I don't sorry, believe in Sorry you. to cut you off, Michael. I was word. talking about how I should have been Amish, you know? And, <laughs> um, yeah. Um, ish, you know, like oh. sort of not fully all the way, but something like that. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. it would have been... Since you guys knew each other at 10, 18 isn't that insane, because that's already 
eight years. It's yeah. almost you guys would have known each other for basically half your lives at that point. So that's not insane for me. I feel like it's insane when I see like 18 to probably 22 year olds getting married when they just they're getting engaged within a year of meeting somebody. Yeah. And it's like I feel I very, very strongly about my boyfriend. So, so strongly but I still know would not be the smartest decision to get engaged six months from now. Like when you say like the divorce rates are 50%, it's like, I'm sure there is some people who are blindsided in those relationships, but I bet a good part of those relationships that end in divorce are people who got together, who either A, already knew it wasn't gonna probably work out, B, got married just because either someone was pregnant, or C, they were forced into it and they are waiting till marriage or something, so they just get married young. Mm. I feel like a lot of those both parties going into it kind of are already knowing this isn't going to work out. How long have you been dating? Not long at all. We've known each other since September. We've only been exclusively wow. dating since January. So it's been very, very, yeah. very brief. But yeah. I've never, I've been in two, two, year, two and a half year long relationships, one, one year long relationship. And I've never felt this way, definitely about mm-hmm. anybody before. So I know the difference now. And that's also why I've said before, like some things I've said before have changed. Like before I thought I needed to be single to have fun and, vacation or explore things but now i know i don't need that i would rather him be there you know last thing on the marriage thing um kind of the other reason why i'm hesitant is because my uh fiance wants to hyphenate our last names (laughs) uh so that's another issue there um let's let's move on from that um by the way you didn't introduce yourself as wish ariana grande from wish or a great value would you guys date so we we have a political commentator on the show Mm -hmm. and and he's part of the Daily Wire network, and uh, which which is a more conservative um, company. Would you guys date a conservative? Let's start with you. Yes. Okay. Obviously. Yeah. I mean, yes. Sure. <laughs> I mean, okay. you don't I sound lo- very enthusiastic. I'm just saying, about I don't <laughs> think that would be a deal breaker for me. If I like you, if I fall in love with you. That's not going to be something that's mm-hmm. going to stop yeah. me. But I mean, yeah. you're going to find out they're a conservative before you fall in love with them, though. Yeah. Unless you're just falling in love at first sight or something. I mean, I feel like that's something that gets brought up before you fall in love. Yeah, I mean... So would you even date a conservative to begin with? I feel like it's better. Yeah, um, probably, yes. I don't think that would stop me. I don't think that's a deal breaker for me. Mm-hmm. I think relationships and still work. I've seen a lot of relationships where there's a one conservative and one more liberal person um i think it depends on how conservative they are or like yeah. how much they mm. let the politics get like get into their life like mm. how much it affects them what if the guy's super conservative like super duper makes francisco franco look like a huge democrat but i don't think they know who that is or no, yeah I'm, makes like who is that uh, by the way francisco franco is a, a strong man in spain for many decades oh during after, world war ii yeah, after yeah, world war or II, after okay yeah, and into, yeah. Um, so, okay. Uh, you know, makes, um, I don't know, makes Trump look like a big lib or something. Mm-hmm. But he's not always talking about his politics. He just happens to be very conservative. And the dictator of Spain. Does he, and the dictator of Does Spain. he, like, I mean, I feel like if you are like that, your actions are going to be very conservative. What do you, you mean, like, have a family, have a, hold a steady job? Or just know? the way he treats people <laughs> and the way yeah, that be, like, be super human respectful to people. interactions. Um, I feel like <laughs> if he's making Donald Trump look like a lib, I feel like his interactions with people wouldn't be very Yeah, it'd be very funny. It'd be really charming. I mean, it might be funny to watch. Be very but attractive to women. Yeah. yeah. Probably not. I no. feel like being on too much of any side yeah, it's is not yeah. going to be not. I, like, Don't you too, think if you stand in the middle of the road, you might get hit by a truck? No. I have you ever stood in the middle of a road? I, not in that sense. I think you can have views in both, on both yeah, sides. I agree. Yeah, I, think I agree. That's a mm. Dumb analogy. No I mean, I feel like you do. Me? No, I'm. I am extremely conservative. I consider myself very moderate because moderation is a virtue. But there's no issue on which I hold a, the liberal position. See, like I would date someone who's conservative, but I wouldn't date a, a trumpet. No, mm. that's weird. Yeah. Just what like kind of I conservative would, would you date? Someone who I would date, I would hope, isn't still fetishizing a president who hasn't been in office now for almost who knows okay. how long. Well, let's say he kind Just of... Just like I wouldn't date somebody who had, even though I feel like it is a little bit different in a sense because it was the first black president, but still I wouldn't want to date somebody who still had Obama mm. flags and propaganda, whatever, up anywhere. I feel like that's weird. Let's move on. We're, if, he, if it's the next, if he has something representing the next... Um, Republican candidate, sure, he's he's representing who he wants to vote for. Mm. But somebody who's been out of office, mm. to to lie and say there is not an agenda behind 
what's going on there I think is very naive so no yeah I wouldn't date somebody who's Trump flag still Trump 2020 yeah, whatever at this point no but if you are conservative yeah if you want to vote Republican who cares Mm-hmm. But you say just not, a, it just can't be too conservative. Like, just what she was saying, how it's like when w- you're too far on either spectrum is just very bad. But don't you yeah. think, I mean, people who have a coherent view of politics, it's one thing is going to lead to another thing, right? Mm-hmm. If you're, uh, let's say you're pro life, you know, mm-hmm. you don't think that abortion should be allowed. That's going to bleed into your thoughts on marriage and divorce and raising children. That might even bleed over into your thoughts on taxes and mm-hmm. education. So it's, it's all going to kind of come together of a piece, right? And same thing if you're super liberal. That's, all those issues are going to kind of roll off one mm-hmm. from the other. But I feel like you could still find a good middle ground. I mean, like, I am okay with people owning guns, but there's certain other things I probably wouldn't be okay with that conservatives are okay with. Okay. Like, I'm not pro-life. Yeah, not yet. I won't I was young once. <laughs> yeah. I, I will not change my mind on you that. You that's what I said. But then I got convinced. I, I just, <laughs> there's no way I'd be convinced to change my mind on that. Yeah, no. Have <laughs> you ever thought there's something I'll never do and then you did it? Um, I'm, I'm sure, but like <laughs> I know for this, <laughs> I will not change my opinion on it. Uh, really I'm quick, sh- 